Mother Earth and nature have perfect timing. Examples would be flowers knowing when to bloom, plants knowing when to grow, and animals knowing when to hibernate. Timing is developed from the seasons, a time for work in the spring, a time to play in the summer, a time to reap in the autumn, and a time to rest in the winter. Every season tells us what we should do and when we should do it, what we should plant and how we should plant it. Spring teaches us about renewal when everything is bursting into life. It's fertile, fresh, colourful and rejuvenated. Summer brings us vitality, warmth, joy and reminds us to have adventures and fun. Autumn brings beautiful colours as plants lose their foliage and we are reminded to make the most of this time before winter. The time of hibernation and rest and a time for reflection and a time to prepare for another year and another nature cycle. There is a hymn that used to be sung in schools in the UK called We Plough the Fields and Scatter, which was written by Matthias Claudius in 1782 and set to music in the 1800s by Johann Schultz. We plough the fields and scatter the good seed on the land, but it is fed and watered by God's almighty hand. He sends the snow in winter, the warmth to swell the grain, the breezes and the sunshine and soft refreshing rain. All nature is attuned to the clock of Mother Earth. Unfortunately, humanity is not. We have drifted away from our true selves and we need to readjust back to being at one with nature and all life. How can we do this? How can we help Mother Nature? We can all help Mother Nature by not putting demands on her. The ecosystem is an intrinsic, beautiful pattern and cycle. Imagine the earth in the shape of a human body. The rivers are the arteries pumping the blood around the body. When the blood is poisoned, the entire body is poisoned. By using man-made and artificial herbicides and pesticides with chemicals, we've poisoned the waters of the earth. We have poisoned the blood of Mother Earth. Farming with chemicals also destroys the topsoil, which means less yield for crops year upon year until arable land becomes barren. Farmers can decide to stop using chemicals on the land. However, going true green and organic cannot happen overnight, as we've seen recently. Without chemicals, insects will eat crops, but they are eaten in turn by birds, who in turn, etc, etc. This natural pattern and natural way takes time, and Mother Earth will decide when the time is right, as redeveloping an ecosystem doesn't happen overnight. We humans are not in control, even though some like to think we are. Another way of helping is to eat what grows locally in your area, in your climate, in your soil and in your country. If you really want to cut down on your carbon footprint, then consider eating with the seasons. If it isn't in season, then you don't eat it. Then the food is not imported to your area at vast financial costs from far away and pumped full of chemicals to preserve it long enough to travel. In that way, we're more at one with nature and we learn to appreciate food when it is in season and enjoy it all the more.